YouTube, what is going on guys? Today we are back. Uh, we're going to do a, as you clicked on the title for Sonic Mania unboxing, but I got this in the mail too. Um, and I wanted to go ahead and do this as well. Um, this is a couple shirts I ordered. We are going to a SummerSlam party, as you guys, I, you guys probably don't know. Matthew and Jeffrey will be in town this weekend, and so I wanted to pick up a couple shirts as they were a good deal. Ballo Club Worldwide. This is mine. I also got a Matthew one as well. I won't show that off, but. And then I got another one just because I saw this and I had to get it. Brizongo Fashion Patrol. You have the right to remain stylish. Alright, now that we got that out of the way, I just showed you guys that. Got a magazine in as well, yippee But Now we're going to get into the big thing. The thing that you clicked on the video for. Oh, goodness. Gracious. Okay. There it is. Okay. The Sonic Mania Collector's Editions, y'all. Um, as I, this is a actually pretty special collector's edition for me because this was one of the first, uh, it is the first game I have ever played. Um, well, Sonic at least, not of course Sonic Mania, but it's the first game or franchise that I played, which was Sonic. So this game always holds. I played nearly every, I played every Sonic besides those Boom games. I played every one otherwise. I played that Sonic Racers. I played uh, Sonic the Fighters. I played Sonic 4. I played all the Colors Unleashed, Sonic 06. Alright, so let's go ahead and get it. It says Sonic Mania on it. Welcome to the next level right on the back. And it kind of is just like the back of a box, as you would say. And then, bada bing. Now, we open it. This is the code to the game. You guys won't see that. And plus, I'll have it kind of in. Um, already in. But this is it. You, this is what you get. This is incredible. You get the Sonic Mania Sega cartridge. Incredible. You get this Sonic Mania metallic card. And then the big one. You get... The the statue, I'm honestly probably going to say, is probably going to be my favorite in the collection. The Sonic Mania statue. It's just awesome. You can, like, turn the little knob. You can turn it on and off. The reset button doesn't work, but that's incredible, y'all. That's legit incredible. To have that and that, that's awesome. That's probably how it will go up on my shelf. Um, Because this game, you guys, I'm going to get a little bit like emotional. Not really emotional, but real talk. This was lit. Sonic was the first old. This was my game when I was a kid. I've been, I can tell you, when I was not in like first grade, second grade, all that. Here was my day. It was in kindergarten. It was all that. It was wake up, eat some French toast if we had it, because French toast was my shit back in the day, and I still love French toast. Then go play some Sonic, which was, this was, I woke up about 10, and then I ate some French toast, some cereal, whatever. I ate breakfast, basically. But then I would go play Sonic, or watch some old Pokemon DVDs, not DVDs, VHSs, um, VHSs at the time, yeah, they were VHSs, um, then we later got them in DVD once DVD came out, but, um, but yeah, so then I would go do that, most of the time it was play Sonic, 
Then it was on to um, the, it was like, I guess the Fox Box, whatever the hell you really want to call it. But it was Static Shock, Pokemon the Johto Journeys. Then, um, then it was a, then it was Yu-Gi-Oh! And then on Mondays, most of the time, I would go back to playing games with my brothers and then went to go watch wrestling, which was on at 8 o'clock, and then it was 10 o'clock, and then it was time for bed for me. I would go to sleep. Um, and yeah, that was it. That was my, like, everything. And these two, where the hell did that go? Uh, okay, where'd my second cartridge go? And that, and this is so cool to me that they would do something like this. The statue legit means the world to me. And it's going to be so cool to have this in my collection. I actually don't know where I'm going to put it, to be honest. Um, I'll have to figure that out. thought I would put it up there, but as you guys see, there's a Master Chief helmet where I was going to put this. My friend uh, Steven, that's on the podcast every now and then, gave me that because uh, he didn't uh, couldn't fit in his apartment anymore. Uh, so now I have this. Have the last Guardian statue. Kind of regret getting. Uh, I got a uh, fucking uh, Scorpion. I got the Titanfall figures, uh, Ryu statue, and then my uh, Zelda amiibos, and then my autograph Austin Aries figure. Um, and now I gotta figure out where to put this guy. <laughs> but yeah, that's kind of it. Let's kind of go through. You get the cartridge, which I'm gonna put somewhere. I don't know. But this means the world to me. This little cartridge means so much to me. It's my history. But, um,. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this. If you did, that was kind of a flash. But look out for this weekend with SummerSlam predictions, all that good jazz. Jeffrey and Matthew will be in town. We'll film some vlogs. And yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow for more uh, Final Fantasy. Yeah, we're going to be back in the world of Final Fantasy tomorrow. Close to finishing it. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And remember, you always got to go fast. Peace.